Hello, welcome back. This morning, I'm working on a little project. I've got this uh, Acaso V50 Pro action camera, and I want to mount it on a tripod. I mean, they, they give you stuff to put on your handlebars, on your helmet. Uh, I'm not doing any of that stuff. It's, I need to mount it on here. Uh, I need to make a little risers is what I need to do. Uh, let's get into that. I'm Glenn Nowakowski, and you're watching Glenn Now on YouTube. Okay, like I said, I want to make a little riser. What this has is a quarter twenty female thread in it. And the tr tripod has a male quarter twenty. Here, look at this a little closer. Here's the tripod. This is the male quarter twenty. I don't know if you can see it. And on the camera, here's the female quarter 20. And I, I want the thing to mount on here. And the problem is really, is that's the battery uh, compartment right there. And when it's on here, that platform is so large, I, I can't change the battery. So I thought, I need to make a little riser so I could change the battery. And then I thought, I need to make a riser so I can make this a lot higher. What I want to do, I have a piece of uh, hex material, aluminum. I want to make a about a 10 inch, maybe 12 inch uh, riser. So all I really need to do is uh, cut the piece of uh, hex stock to the length I need, drill, and tap in both ends. And I thought I'd do it here on my 1953 Logan. Okay, here's the hex stock. It looks like it's half inch hex. Uh, what I was gonna do, I don't have a hex collet. This here measures 573, something like that, 570 across the highest points. What I was going to do is use a, that's 7, 37 60 fourths. I have a 37 60 fourths, I think. I have to look. But I was going to cut it off and just grab it in a collet across there. I just have to face and drill maybe a half inch deep. Uh, on both sides and after I tap it I need to find a set screw to put in there to make my male thread but let's get this cut I'm not even gonna measure it I want that thing to be about this long okay let's go face it off I need to look and see if I even have a 37 60 forks. They're down here under my bench or underneath the lathe. There they are. Ah. 37 60 forks. Okay, we're going to put them in the collet chuck here. Okay, just going to face both sides off first, make sure I'm not pinching on the high side of anything. And, and, and make sure none of these points are in the groove, which they are not. Kind of tighten it up, I think that'll be just fine. Gonna get a little loud.
slide that's going to be on the camera, I'm going to turn the diameter down a little bit just to make sure I can open that battery compartment. Okay, yeah, that's good. All right. I need to drill and tap. Let's see, where are my drills up in the cabinet up there? Uh, there's my number drills. I need to find a number seven. There we go. Number seven for a quarter twenty. Need to tap that hole. Let's go see if I got a quarter twenty tap. Should be up here somewhere. There, quarter twenty right there. Let's see. It looks sharp. Okay. I'm just going to hand tap these things. Put a little oil. I'm not even going to center it up on the tailstock. It's not important. You only use probably three threads. Put that camera in there. Hopefully I have a set screw. I still haven't looked. I don't want to put too many threads in there. Okay.
Okay, looks like I, I'm finished. All I need to do is put this set screw, I did have one, uh, in here. Attach the camera, attach this to the tripod. Let's do that. That screw goes in this side. Okay. Let's see. The battery <laughs> compartment opens. That's what I was hoping for. That's what I was doing it for, really, until I got the idea I could make this into a really nice riser. There. Have to turn it on an angle. Plus, this thing has a riser. And let me show you. Like I said, this thing has its own riser already. It can really go up there. Right. That's pretty high. <laughs> okay. Success. Okay. I succeeded in what I wanted to do. Make a little riser so that I can open the battery case. And I rose it up a little bit so uh, I can actually get it a lot higher so I can get some down shots. Anyway, that's going to be it for this project. Uh, coming soon, I'm starting a new uh, like episodes called Out in the Shop. It's just going to be old toolmaker stories and uh, some show and tell. Some of my older tools some of my, I have charts everywhere. I've always wanted to show people the collection of charts I have. Uh, that'll be coming up. So, until next time, enjoy.